Welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Math Channel. I'm now going to be answering question number seven from the June 2019 Mechanics M1 paper. This question here is about a ship A. It's all about vectors. Um, a ship A is moving with constant velocity 2i minus 14j kilometers per hour. And at 2 p.m., the position vector of a ship of the of ship A is 8i plus 7j kilometers. A ship B is moving with constant velocity 12i minus 4j kilometers per hour. At 2 p.m., the position vector of ship B is i plus 2j kilometers. Show that at time t hours after 2 p.m., the vector B to A is equal to 7 minus 10t times i plus 5 minus 10t times j kilometers. Now this is all about vectors, as I said. Now, first of all, the first sentence here, in brackets here, in this question, i and j are horizontal unit vectors due east and due north, respectively, and position vectors are given relative to a fixed origin O. So what they're basically telling you is that when you're looking down at your page, okay, that this direction is the direction of i, and this direction, this is the direction of j. That's i is one unit upwards, and j is one unit to the right on your paper. That's north and that's east. Okay, that's what they're telling you. We're talking. They're ten, telling you that we're talking about a horizontal plane. Okay, now it says a ship A is moving with constant velocity two i minus fourteen j kilometers per hour. So that tells you about the direction and the distance that it moves in one hour. Okay, so every hour it's going two kilometers to the right and fourteen kilometers down. So it's it's moving in this in this tra trajectory over here. Okay, so every kilometer this is how far it's going. Okay, that's the velocity vector. So the velocity vector of ship A. 2i minus 14j. That's the direction and the magnitude in which it's going every hour. And it says at 2 p.m., its position vector of, the, of ship A is 8i plus 7j. Now, position vector is always related to the origin O. So in relation to the origin, so say that is the origin, at 2 p.m., its position is I, 8i plus 7j. So its position is 8i plus 7j, somewhere up here. Okay, this is where the ship is at 2 p.m. This is the position of, sh of the ship at 2 p.m. Okay, so that's how, um, that's what this, this, this means here. So for us to write down the, the position vector or the, the vector from b to a, we need to first work out what the position vector of a is and the position vector of b is at any particular time. Now, we know that the position vector of a ship or an object that's moving is equal to its initial position, which we call r0. This is position when time is zero, which is for ship a, which is this, and for ship b, which is that, plus its velocity vector, which for ship a is that, and ship b is that, times the time at which you want to find this position. Now, we want to find the position at the time t hours. All right, just a general um, expression for it. So for ship A, say the position vector of A is given by its position when time is zero, which is 8i plus 7j. Now, I'm going to write this as a column vector. So 8i plus 7j, I'll write it as 8, 7. The top number represents the i component and the bottom the j component, plus time times its velocity vector, which is 2i minus 14j, so 2, 14, which I can write this as 8 plus 2t, just write it as one expression here, and that's, that's the i component, and the j is 7, um, and that's minus 14. Be careful, that's 2i minus 14. Make, don't make that mistake there. So it's 7 minus 14t. That is the position vector of A. And the position vector of B, which we'll call RB, is going to be given by its, its position when time is zero. Its position vector, which is I plus 2J, which is going to be 1, I plus 2J, 1, 2, plus the time. And you've got its velocity vector, which is 12I and minus 4J, which again, I'll write in this form. This will be 1 plus 12T and 2 minus 4t. That's the j component. So now, that's the position vector of a, and that's the position vector of b at time t. We want to find the vector from b to a. Now, let, just imagine this is o. O, not a. Okay, just imagine this is the point o, and this is the point a, and this is the point b. And 
what we have here, we have the position vector of A, which is RA, and the position vector of B, RB, at any time t. So this is the position vector of A, time t, and this is the position vector of B. We want to find the vector from B to A, which is this vector over here. We want to find the vector from B to A. The vector from B to A. Now we can see from here, B to A, is if you go from B to O, and then from O to A, o to a which is basically negative RB, negative RB, because it's opposite direction of B, plus RA, which you can say is the same as RA minus RB. Okay, now, so we can take these two vectors. That's RA, which is 8 plus 2T, and 7 minus 14T, and subtract from that the vector RB, which is 1 plus 12T, and 2 minus 4t. Now that's going to give us 8 minus 1, which is 7, 2 minus 12, which is negative 10, so that's 7 minus 10t, that's i component, and the j component is going to be uh, 7 minus 2, which is 5, and negative 14 minus minus, which is plus, so negative 14 plus 4t, which is minus 10t which is the same, so that we can say the vector b to a, if we write it in the form that they want us to, the i component is 7 minus 10t, and the j component is 5 minus 10t. And that is in kilometers, because it's the position vector. So there is the vector from b to a, and that is the answer to part a. Okay, so there's uh, part a of question number 7. Now for part b. Part b says... Hence, find the length of time for which the ships are within two kilometers of each other. Now, hence means using the answer that we just found, which is given to us, actually. So even if we didn't know how to do part A, um, it is possible for us to answer part B. That's a lot of the questions nowadays are, um, are designed in such a way that they are accessible uh, to students. Part B might be accessible to a student who didn't know how to do part A. You can do part B so he doesn't lose all seven marks as well as all five marks before it. Okay, you, can, you don't lose so many marks. And so if you understand how to do part B without f proving part A, you, c you won't lose these seven marks. Then. So it says, find the length of time for which the ships are within two kilometers of each other. Now, that means we want to find the length of time for which the distance um, of B to A, the magnitude of B to A is less than two kilometers or less than or equal to two kilometers even because... So it's, it's within two kilometers. You can say less than or less than equal to. Both of them would be all right. It really doesn't make much of a difference. Okay, so now, that's what we're going to try and solve this inequality. All right, so what we can do is we can find um, the magnitude of B to A in terms of T. Now, the magnitude of a vector is given by the square root of, okay, the... Um, square of the components added together, right? Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, if you have a vector a, b, then the magnitude of this vector is given by the square root of a plus, of the square root of a squared plus b squared. Okay, so I've got to take 7 minus 10t, I've got to square it, and I've got to add it to 5 minus 10t, and also square that, and square it, and that's going to be, have to be less than 2 kilometers. So if I do this, this is going to give me 49 minus now when you square a bracket like this you can find the middle term by multiplying these two together and then doubling that so that's minus 70 minus 70 doubled is minus 140 so it's one minus, minus 140 t mm. and then you square the last term of course it become positive 100 t squared similarly for this you square the first term 25 so you multiply these together that's negative 50 t doubled is negative 100 t and you square the last term that's going to be positive 100 t squared. Um, so that, let's just simplify that first. So you've got 100 t squared plus another 100 t squared, which is 200 t squared. You've got minus 140 minus 100, which is minus 240 t. And you've got 49 plus 25, that's 69 plus 4, that's uh, plus 5, that's 74. Okay, so there's um, the magnitude of b to a. 
that's the magnitude of b to a in terms of t so what i'm going to do now instead of making it an inequality i'll find out the times at which the magnitude is equal to two kilometers so i'm going to find when the magnitude of ba is equal to two kilometers and then when i find those times the difference between them will be the times um you know the difference between those two times will be the times that i need to know um when the distance was less than two kilometers okay so now i can just equate this to two kilometers so i've got the square root of 200 t squared minus 240 t plus 74 is equal to two now to solve this equation what i can do is square both sides so that gives me 200 t squared minus 240 t plus 74 is equal to four and then i can subtract four from both sides so 200 t squared minus 240t plus 70 equals zero i can divide by 10 to get rid of the common factor that's going to give me 20t squared minus 24 plus 24t sorry plus 7 equals zero now to factorize this let's see how it will factorize you could use a quadratic formula you could even use a calculator in m1 but i'm going to just do it by factorizing so 20t squared and seven so two numbers multiplied to give me 140 t squared and add to give me negative 24 well they both must be negative um and they both must be negative let's have a look so 140 24 i think 10 and 14 if i multiply them together I get 140 if i add them I get 24 that's right so it's negative 10 t and negative 14 t so now Taking out the common factor from these two, I'm going to get 10t. 10t times 2t is 20t squared. 10t times minus 1 is minus 10t. And 2t times minus 7 is minus 14t. So I've got my two brackets, 10t minus 7 and uh, 2t minus 1 equals 0. So I can say that 10t minus 7 equals 0 and 2t minus 1 equals 0 so i've got t equals 7 over 10 and t equals a half so they came into sight of each other uh when t equals a half an hour and then they went out of sight not not sorry, they came within two kilometers of each other sorry when t was a half hour um and they went out of two kilometers from each other when t was 7 over 10 so what I can do is the time between them is going to be the time for which they were within two kilometers for, for of each other. So the time for which A and B are and B are within two kilometers of each. Sorry about that of each other is equal to 7 over 10 minus 5 over 10 which is 2 over 10 which is 1 fifth of an hour and if you multiply that by 60 that's the answer that you could say 1 fifth of an hour if you multiply by 60 that gives you 12 minutes we can say 12 minutes 12 minutes 1 over 5 times 60 gives you 12 of course right so that that's the answer to this question which is question part b of this question seven from june 2019 so we had an expression for the vector between b and a we want to find when the we want to find the length of time for which the ships are within two kilometers of each other so the length of time where the magnitude of this vector is less than two kilometers so we found out the the expression for we found out the magnitude of this vector in terms of t and then we equated that to two and we got a quadratic equation from that we had two times time the the difference between those two times is the time the times when the ships were within two kilometers of each other and there's the answer i hope that was clear thank you for watching other questions from this particular paper can be found in this um, the link for the playlist will be over here. Other questions from vectors from M1 can be found in the playlist, the link for which will be in this region here. You can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link over here. Thank you for watching and see you soon.